Hi, my name is Felicia Grignero. I'm a mother of a 19-month-old baby girl. Uh, well, when we started off uh, to uh, start having a family, uh, we were very eager. It was like our joy, like our dream come true that we finally uh, decided to have a child. Uh, so as time went by, you know, Amanda was growing inside my womb, which felt so nice and warm. And my husband would always say, how does it feel? Just place your hand on my tummy. And as soon as he placed his hand, it's like his daughter felt the warm hand of her father and she'd be kicking around. So as months went by, uh, it came to the point that uh, I started getting contractions. Tell me about the day you went to the hospital and describe to me what happened. Everything was going fine and I was pushing and pushing and um, I pushed for about two and a half hours to, till I had Amanda. And that's when our, uh, our dreams shattered. What happened? Um, when Amanda was born, she had no cry, no, no reflex, not even kicking her legs just there like like just like a vegetable body just coming out I was just like looking at her like what's wrong with my baby would someone please tell me what is going on but up until that time everything had been normal yes it had you'd had a normal pregnancy all the uh, the blood test resulted all normal Amanda's heartbeat resulted normal Everything was excellent. What did the doctors tell you? They didn't tell me anything. They took her right away to the intensive care unit upstairs. And uh, things started getting worse. 90 minutes after her birth, my daughter started seizuring. And that was like a, a disaster for us because we knew that when someone starts seizuring, there's something wrong with the brain. She slept for, for about a week. And uh, they didn't know what was going on, if she would come out of it, or what would be the, the outcome. I'd be talking to her, singing to her, trying to see if she would respond to me as, as being her mom, of singing her those uh, little songs when I sing to her when I was pregnant. And uh, I remember singing to her. She actually smiled at me. It was a little smile, and that's the message that I got, that yes, she will make it. So it's like a miracle happened. The next day she did wake up and she was moving. Just that unfortunately her reflex weren't all there because she had brain damage, but that was important for me. Just the fact of her awakening from her, from her nightmare, it was like a dream come true. So it took a few weeks before you actually got the verdict. Take me back to that day. What did the doctors tell you? I remember we sat in a meeting with the neurologist and the whole team, and they told us, um, we don't know if your daughter will be able to walk, speak, move. And her scan showed that a man had devastating uh, segments of the brain missing, no cortex left around her brain. They gave us no hope at all. When uh, the doctor told us that she has cerebral palsy, that was really hard on us because when they told us that, you know, so now what happens, you know, how do we, what happens with her, what do we do, what can she do, what can we do with her, and it's like everything is totally what you hoped having a child would be, is just thrown away in front of you. Uh, it was, um, it was uh, the end of the world, it's like the world just collapsed on us. We just trusted the doctors to tell us what to do. But we noticed as months went on, we weren't seeing much. My husband and I started to use the internet of friends to uh, try to get information and... Uh well, uh, I present myself. I am a Dr. Amsalem Maurice, uh, GP for 40 years. Uh, I've seen uh, the patient uh, Galo Amanda since she's born. She was uh, coming in my office and uh, showing uh, general palsy, secondary to a problem uh, of birth. She has, uh, she has uh, lacking uh, oxygen and uh, she was uh, completely uh, paralyzed, like uh, cannot moving uh, her neck, her, her legs. Uh, 
uh, no sound coming. Uh, I follow her for 10 years. Uh, what I find out uh, after she received a treatment with stem cells that uh, her behavior changed completely and I have uh, in front of me the CT scan with perfusion done in uh, first, uh, the 23rd of uh, January 2002 and the conclusion and impression is cerebral palsy with gradual improvement after stem cells. There was increase of about 20% to 30% increase of the cortex, which is uh, absolutely fabulous. I can see that uh, in this time, this young lady changed a lot. And I can see her that she is able to smile, able to hold her head, and move her head right to left. She, fo she follows you with her eyes moving arms and feet correctly. She can say a few words and sound. She's able to stand and now she's able to walk with a walker. She understands when you're talking to her and she responds with a smile. Uh, she tried to crawl, she tried to crawl too. I'm uh, absolutely uh, amazed that uh, the treatment improved so much this lady and I think she's going to get better and better following these treatments.